So I'm Zena Cumpston and this is my sister. Hi, I'm Nikki Cumpston. And together we um, co-curated the show that um, we're talking about today, our exhibition, Nuritcha. Nuritcha is a beautiful word. The meaning of the word together, all of us here in it together, really encompassed the way that we worked as a collective. Mm. And it also really, it really spoke to us about what it was that we were presenting as part of the exhibition because it all comes from us, from, from our spirit, but also from the spirit of our country. It took us a long time to find the right word and a lot of conversations with different people, with elders trying to think, what, what, is, what is it that we're trying to achieve through titling this body of work? Mm -hmm. And how, how can we best present this information through Barkindji language? And I guess, the other thing that's really important about Naracha is that it's not just about us and our journeys together and our togetherness, but Naracha is also talking about how we all have to act together to care for and empower country so that she can keep us healthy. And that's not just um, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, it's everyone. So we're inviting people in through the stories we're telling. We're inviting people into our country, but we're also activating the idea of the togetherness that we want with wider Australia. The things that have happened on our country have been catastrophic, especially to our Barker, which some call the Darling River. Um, there's been mismanagement, water theft, bastardry, terrible things. And we really need um, everyone to care because it actually ultimately affects everyone. Our waterways are all interconnected and being able to invite people into our country is a way of asking them to also care like we do. Um, and it's also, I guess to me, Naracha also talks about the way that our ancestors have guided us through this journey as well. We are together with them. Both Nick and I in lots of our work have been really um, empowered by working with different communities and, and doing projects that really empower communities um, as well. So it really made sense to both of us to think about our own community, our Barkindji community, and um, to think about how we might come together with other artists from our community to make something because so many times we've made works um, with other communities but never sort of all together in this way with our own mob. And it was a way for us to learn from each other but also to be able to travel together back, back home, back to country and to country we hadn't been to together before. So right from the start, we decided that we wanted country to be an active participant in every part of this project. And so we didn't go into, um, into the start of the project with any sort of curatorial rationale, did we Nick? Like, we really just decided that we were going to let whatever happened on our journeys together on country actually be the foundation to whatever works ended up um, being made and whatever things um, in terms of themes and stories that came from that experience. So it was really more about the journey than the end product always. So we didn't have a set plan for any of the trips that we went on, but there were places that we really wanted to go to together. And sometimes even though things weren't planned, it kind of felt like they were <laughs> things slotted into place and people just rocked up who ended up being really important to the project. So even though we tried to keep it very much not directed, not prescribed, it felt like we had a really rich schedule. Everywhere we went, we did so much. And we just chose really important cultural places and that worked. We went to Kinchiga National Park on our first trip um, and uh, spent time in Menindee, like you said. But on that second trip, when we went to Motawinji, that's a place our people have always gone to share culture and to exchange and that's what happened there. And um, it's interesting that quite a lot of the works, that was the pivotal moment for lots of the artists when we went to Mutawinji. Yeah. And there's no mistake in that. It's such an important cultural place and it always has been. So the opportunity has been rich and deep and each journey, each of the journeys that we had together really supported what we were thinking and feeling about the final work. That, was, that ended up coming out of these opportunities. 
As you walk into the exhibition, you enter a welcoming space and it's an opportunity for you to be able to feel at home. We'd like you to sit down and have a look through. We have some photo books. Each of the artists has created a photo book which links them to their family and their relationship to each other, uh, all of us in the exhibition, but also to country. Within that space is also a slideshow and it's situated against the, the blinds that are reminiscent of some of the places that we stayed on our journeys to country and, and to different towns that we stayed in. But the images in the slideshow really are about us and us being together out on country and it's a chance for the audience to be able to see and feel our experience out there. And it's, it's a way for, we hope, people to feel comfortable and relaxed in our space. And then we guide you through into the exhibition and each of the artists is working in very different ways. Yeah, it's one thing that we've really been excited about as we put the show together, isn't it? That yeah. the connections are so, they're just so strong. And the opportunity that we've had through the sedge of making string from sedge yeah. and then creating the net that all of us collectively have made mm. um, has been a really beautiful moment, mm. how that body of work has come together from each and every one of our hands. Yes. And I have to mention the beautiful scent that we have from David Doyle's work and that yeah. it smells like country now. It does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As part of this exhibition, Nadacha, we really wanted to have an education component. So we've together um, made an education resource that we hope that lots of different schools and other groups will be able to utilise to think about the themes that we're all presenting. There's so much crossover in the show because, yeah, the foundation is country. There's so many um, related themes through all of the works. Um, yeah, it really is a show that's born out of generosity and care um, and reciprocity and I hope people can tell that when they come along.